grab it from you. Well, how are we going to get more? I don't know. We could go to the store. Uh, don't you think that might be a little dangerous? You think they've put our wanted posters up in the supermarket aisles? Paul, we're fugitives on the run with an infant child. Who knows what they're going to do? Right, they're going to turn us into a TV movie. How can you be <laughs> joking about this? Oh, come on, I'm having the time of my life. Really? Yeah. Hiding with your daughter in a TV with studio? my daughter, that's the truth. You have no idea how long I've waited to be a father. Well, I, I know that you and Meg lost a baby. Yeah, this is the first time I've lost a baby either. Nobody should ever have to look through that. Um, I'm glad that you have this time with me now. Thanks to you. I just wish that you and Meg could have figured out a way to do this together. Now your boyfriend made sure that's never going to happen. I wish you would stop calling him that. Dusty is not my boyfriend. If he were, I wouldn't be here, and neither would you. He would have figured out another way to screw up my life, though. He always does. Oh, well. Anyway, if we're going to get that formula, we should probably go before... Hey, hey. Somebody in there? Who the hell are you? Uh, we are extras, and uh, we, were, we were here the other day, and they asked us to come back to shoot some more scenes. Your scene is later this afternoon. Well, the, the baby kind of freaked out the first time because all the, the noise and the, the lights and stuff. And the producer thought it would be a really good idea to come in early, you know, to get to get acclimated, you know, how moody actors can be. Anyone authorize some extras to come in early? It was the producer, the, the old guy. Do you remember his name? No. Explain why the desk never checked you in. Okay, what's the plan? Well, we need to get out of New York City, because if those security guards call the cops, and those cops have spoken to Oakdale PD, they can put it all together, figure out we're here. Uh, where do we go? I don't think in Florida. Florida? Yeah, at least it's warm. We, we could be more noticeable. No, no, come on, we'll be a family on vacation. It's a big deal. Okay, okay, but one week, including driving time. Fine. Play in the sand until my time is up. Okay. What, what? Where's the car? It was right here. So where the hell is it? I looked everywhere. I can't find it. Must have been stolen. I don't think so. Why not? The alternate side of the street parking. It was probably totally Well, that's great. That means we can get the car back. Okay, what do we do? We find out where the car is. We pay the fine. We get the car back. They're going to pick us up as soon as we walk in there. Really? And whose fault is that? Can we take a rest, please? I know. Uh, just for a minute, okay? Oh, yep. Yeah. I don't think anybody followed us. Well, it won't be long before they figure out where we are. Well, we'll just keep moving, that's all. But we can't walk all the way to Florida. Well, you should have thought of that before you called Donovan. I wanted Meg to know that her baby is okay. If that makes this my fault, then fine. All right, you're right. I'm, I'm not mad at you. Really? You could have fooled me. Now, look, if a mental patient forced his way into my car and made me drive him and his stolen baby halfway across the country, I'd probably try and get help, too. You're not a mental patient. Yeah, well, try convincing anyone in Oakdale of that. It would help if you didn't get yourself in so many crazy situations. Meg wasn't letting me see my little girl. What other choice did I have? You had a few options besides kidnapping. Yeah, well, I couldn't think of any, so here we are. Yeah, here we are, with nowhere to go, no car, half the police in the country looking for us, and no plan. Well, I'm open to suggestions. You know what I'm going to say. No, I don't. You need to turn yourself in. You said I could have a week. This isn't about me. This is about your daughter and what you're putting her through. She's, she's fine. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Yes, I am. Paul, it's the middle of winter. We're out here in the freezing cold with no car, nowhere to go. We can't fly. We can't use a credit card. They probably know where we are by now. What are we going to do? We'll take a bus. The minute we walk into that terminal with a baby, we're going to get picked up. And the same goes for airports and train stations. What do we do? You know. You're right. Really? Yeah, really. What kind of father would I be to turn my kid into a fugitive? 
I know that you'd never hurt her. I wouldn't be here if I thought that. I know that. And I'll always be grateful to you for providing me with these last few precious days, but you're right, they're over. You should call Meg. No, she's going through hell. Okay, well. Promise? Yes, I promise. And then you and I are going to say goodbye. For good. I have to go back to Oakdale with you. I'll explain it to the police. You've done enough. You need me there to back you up. I'll tell them that I forced my way into your car at gunpoint. You didn't. And that I held you hostage and brought you here and kept you prisoner until you finally got away. None of this is true. It doesn't really matter. They'll lead it up with a spoon. They'll save them a lot of trouble. And they'll never have any reason to go after you. No, I'm not going to let you lie like it's that. It's not really a lie, right? It's not. I mean, it's not like you volunteered for this. There's no reason for you to take the hit. Well, there's no reason for you to add a weapons charge. Josie, you need to stay out of it, okay? This no longer concerns you. You've already done more than enough for me. Like what, exactly? Channeling Jennifer didn't help either one of us. Yeah, well, that was kind of my really insane idea. And in spite of it, you helped me through my breakdown and through my recovery. You helped provide me with these last few beautiful days with my little girl. And you convinced me to do the right thing and bring her home. Okay, well, I'm going to come with you. You don't really believe that I'm going to bring her home? No, I do. That's why I want to come. You are doing the right thing here. You shouldn't be punished. Well, either should you. You are going to stand there and listen while I call Meg. And then you're going to go. I don't want to go. You don't have a choice. You're doing the right thing. Yeah. You keep saying that, you know. Shouldn't it feel better? Sometimes it doesn't. Look. <clears throat> This should be enough to cover the fine on the car and put enough gas in it to get you wherever it is that you're going. I want you to get in the car and keep going and don't contact anyone from Oakdale. You mean Dusty? I mean anyone. Forget about all of us. Find yourself a home. Start painting again. Get a studio. Do things that make yourself happy. And the um, starving death part, where does that fit in? Set up an offshore account and send me the number, just the number. Transfer enough funds in it, keep you afloat until your career gets going. That could be a while. Yeah. I don't really care. Why are you doing this? Because I owe you more than money. Bye, little girl. You have got a great daddy, you know that? Thanks. And thanks again for everything. Be careful. Yeah, you too. Go. Just sit tight. Dad'll be right back. She's coming to the ATM. Let's get you home.